We're here in Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, of course, and I'm talking with Peter Merrick and Paul Stevens from Advantech. Paul, Peter, first of all, thanks for being here. My, my question is, what are some of the key takeaways that you've gained here at Mobile World Congress? Well, I think the main key takeaway for us is there's a lot going on around NFV. And in fact, this week, Advantech announced its NFV Elasticity Initiative. And that initiative really is aimed at allowing operators to better provision baseline services uh, capacity at the edge of the network. We believe this will allow a much better user experience, better use of network resources, and all of that at lower cost. And the key to NFV elasticity is the ability to be able to uh, provide a scalable and consistent uh, platform built on Intel architecture based on server technology that can allow virtual network functions to operate at any location in the network. Okay, now when you're talking about NFV, you of course have to expand an ecosystem and you have to work with new partners and, and, and other vendors. So how are you going about that? What's the strategy there? So basically we are part of the Intel Networks Builders ecosystem, which is a vertical market-oriented ecosystem uh, focused on the networking industry. And it brings together platform providers like Advantech, middleware providers and solution providers in one ecosystem. We believe that with this ecosystem and the platforms we're rolling out, we're creating a, a good foundation for a lot of future innovation. So as part of that, we have launched uh, the Remote Evaluation Services Program last year here at Mobile Work Congress, and we're extending that now into NFV platforms, which means that basically we have a real good breadth of platforms in our lab that we enable with NFV middleware uh, from leading uh, solution providers in industry such as Wind River and Six Wind, and that will allow us then also to work with the virtual network function providers that are part of the network builders ecosystem to give them access to the latest and greatest platforms ready to integrate the VNFs, run benchmarks, customers demo, leading to more mature, more innovative solutions for the end customers. Okay, now we're standing next to this box here. What, what exactly is this and how does this fit in? So this is one platform that has been announced here, also at Mobile World Congress. And this box has been highly optimized for processing power, switching capacity, and I.O. bandwidth to serve the challenges that arise from the growing network demand in all networks where on the GI land and similar parts of the network, people need to handle more and more packet data in their network elements. This is a very unique platform in a Comptic 4U footprint that allows people to handle up to 600 gig of traffic now there's another platform announcement that you've made here, is that right? Yes. So in a different version of this system, which is more tailored towards uh, deployments on the edge and the access of the network, we will build that as a fully redundant, carry-grade system that's optimized in these environments that is a full NFV cloud-type platform for running virtual network functions at the edge. And coming back to the theme of net NFV elasticity, we also announced a versatile server module we call VSM that allows the same kind of processing and architecture to be integrated in access level devices such as small cells and base stations. The, the benefit to the carriers and service providers is with the VSM, they can provision a baseline of capacity in the access layer. While then using our new Pacterm XLC system at the first aggregation point as a telco room, for instance, they can use a bladed in integrated system to cover excess capacities for peak traffic loads. 
Now, interestingly enough, you mentioned Wind River and Six Winds earlier, so I want to talk about that. Tell me about that partnership. So at the beginning of this week, we announced two key strategic partnerships with middleware suppliers that can enable the VNF ecosystem. One of them was Six Wind, with their Six Wind Gate software, providing accelerators to help customers get to market faster on a solution-ready platform. In, in parallel, we announced that we were joining the Wind River Titanium Cloud Program, and we believe that that rounds off the ecosystem that operators are gonna need to deploy virtual network functions anywhere in the network. Well, that's all exciting stuff for Advantech. Peter, Paul, thanks for your time. Thanks. Thanks, we're glad to be here.